So peeps, what's good? Um, just a, I guess off the uh, off the wall type um video today. I just had something on the brain that um, as a, it seems like as of lately, I ran into a. Uh, a few vendors, mostly new, that um, are confident rocking with the uh, a lot of the OG strains, and you know, a lot of people. Um, well, I guess probably people that really haven't been smoking that long, or uh, young people maybe um, didn't really get a chance to experience a lot of the the original. Uh, the OG strains, but I'm gonna tell you like if you're a budget shopper, um, it's probably something that would uh, benefit you quite a bit versus trying to uh, keep up with the Joneses and you know buy this exotic flower that. A lot of people really can't afford, but they pay for it because, you know, it's it's the uh, the end thing right now. But the whole point of this video really is, um, don't sleep on the OGs. Don't sleep on um, a lot of the original strains. Like, you know, there's a few vendors. Um, I would say probably. Uh, Jetpack Boy, Jetpack Industries, and um, Bag Boy, like they definitely uh, one that has they usually has some pretty good of OG uh, type strings and not for a, a, a lot of money. Um, same with the uh, uh, Lifted, Lifted uh, Minds. They pretty new to the game down here, but I had some of his OG the other day and it was blazing. Um, and there was one more. Um, oh, uh, well, there's the other vendor, I'm not really sure. He, he's not really out there like that, so I'm, I'm not sure if he wants to be out there like that. But anyway, um, it's just three examples of um vendors that you know keep it keep at least some of the uh of their strings og and really you know it's i know it's probably a tough decision because you don't have the profit margins like you do with the exotics but at the same time um i feel like you could have probably a uh consistent stream of uh people that would be cool with uh smoking the og if they were just to uh give it a shot you know and a lot of people don't because it's not as pretty as uh the the boutique flower you know it uh, doesn't have all of the the, the coloring or may not have you know the, the amount of track homes, but i mean there's a lot of og out there that will put you on your ass still you know what i'm saying so um i like the fact that a lot of a lot of vendors are sticking with that and um it's a good thing for um uh, consumers now consumers the, the thing is, you got to actually give it a try, though. You know, it, it ain't, it ain't gonna, like I say, it's not gonna be as pretty as the design of flower, but that does not mean that it won't put you on your back. Because I tried uh, recently a few things. Um, Green Dream um, from Lifted Farms. Um, and there was a OG that um, that I got from the other vendor, the, the one that I didn't 
list. And mind you, all of these strings, you're talking about, you know, uh, $30, $40 for uh, the 3 5 And most of the time, unlike with the, uh, the boutique flower, a lot of people are willing to do price breaks on the OG. You know, the more that you get, you know, and we're talking about being able to get, you know, zips in of, of some of these strings for uh, under two hundred dollars in some cases, and it is not bad quality flower. So, you know, don't don't be so quick to dismiss the OG. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there that based on what you can afford is what you should be smoking and it may be a little bit of adjustment but look at it like this if you paying you know 80 90 100 dollars for uh the three five and you struggling to pay that you really can only get it every now and then and then you have to pinch off of it little bit by little bit you one of the ones that should probably look into some of the uh some of the og strains you would you would stretch your money a lot further um and it it would just it would make more sense you know what i mean and instead of uh trying trying to scratch up the coins to be able to get something that's really not in your budget you know versus you know you fool with one of the ogs you got something to smoke every day so you know, it's it's just a matter of preference. You know, I'm pretty sure. But uh, you know, again, I I said that to say, don't be quick to dismiss the OGs because you could learn some things. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, um, you don't know, check me out on social media, IG Atlanta Smoke Shop, Twitch Atlanta Smoke Shop. Um, Twitter, A Town Smoke Shop, and same for Facebook. So, uh, stop by, join the community, uh, check out the Discord. You know, trying to get uh, that be a, to be a little bit more active, and it's getting there. It's just you know, people aren't really quick to adopt to it, but uh, yeah, you know, so y'all be safe, have a blessed weekend.